morning, good morning, good morning. It's time to rise and shine. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're feeling fine. Good morning, get up, get out of bed. It's time to wake up, you sleepy head. Time to wake up, it's a brand new day. And we can't miss out on that day to decay. Get your day planned out to be at your best. And you gotta make sure you got the right back test. Wipe the sleep away, make sure you're awake. Cause we don't have time for fat finger mistakes. And race your car. Happy Friday, everyone. Today is the first day of March. We've got the S&P unchanged, NASDAQ up 850, Russell up six and a half, Dow down 40, gold and silver slightly green, notes and bonds slightly red, 10-year yield up a quarter percent, oil up one and a half percent, natty gas down one and a half percent. Grains a little bit mixed, euro and the pound, slightly green. Bitcoin up about three quarters of a percent, hanging out at a little above 63,000. VIX at 13.29. So with the VIX contracting, looks like a day for Rick. We've also got a uh, boatload of FOMC members today talking about what they do, talking about talking. 9.15 a.m. These are all central time. 9.15 a.m. So in about 45 minutes, Waller. 9.50 a.m. Bostic. 12.30 p.m. Daily. 2.30 uh, 2 p.m. Kugler, Kugler. So, yeah. hey Steve, I got a question for you. Yep. So, do, these Fed speakers, you know, we we talked about this a lot recent here recently. Do they always like? I've never paid attention to them except for those FOMC days where they have their, you know, that week they have their meetings and then usually Drum Powell speaks. That's you know, that's the only time I really ever paid attention to it. Do they has there always been this many speakers throughout the month? Um, you well, know? Since, you know, I mean, with when interest rates were just dead flat low for a while, it you know it wasn't re that really big of a deal. But then when interest rates started going up and there's more anticipation around the meetings, I think it put a little bit more weight on them. And so, basically, what happens is after the you know Fed decision comes out, the main FOMC meeting, then following that is uh you know for week you know usually a few two three weeks you'll see these fed speakers and i think it's just a i think it's just a payout for them they have all these yeah groups I just, that pay them to come talk and yeah, yeah so it's it's definitely become more of an issue more of a thing than it used to be okay that's what i wanted yep but it is what it is All right, so we got the uh, ring, uh, opening bell here in five seconds. So I'll be entering a Rick. I'm going to do my early Rick and late Rick. Just go half position size on each. I'm actually going to do it in my uh, Tradier account because I've got some strikes on another position that are kind of in my way. So I'll do this, 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 this.
What did I do? Oh. What am I doing here? Buying that one. Selling that one. Buying that one. Oops. No. Hell. That's right. There we go. I don't know what I was doing wrong. User error. It's trading for about twelve eighty five. Twelve eighty. All right, filled at twelve eighty. All right, so there's my Rick, my early Rick, and then I'll do a late Rick as well. And then I got filled on my NDX, my daily NDX play. Got filled on that at 453. So max profits 884, max loss is 1116. Expected move in NDX today, 106.6 .6 approximately. So I set my price slices at my break even. We've got on NDX approximate upsize 18,176. Should be about right here. On the downside, 17,962. Should be about right here. So pretty normal, covers the vast majority of the expected move for the day. Yeah, so my shorts are on uh, the 980 puts and the 160 calls. And then SPX, expected move. Anybody catch the expected move in SPX at the open? I think it was I, had it. I think it was 25. 25? I, well, I looked at about 
Well, 30 minutes ago. Yeah, I saw it as low as 23. Yeah, yeah this might have been like 8 a.m. when I looked. Yeah, so t- about 23. Oh, yeah, Chris always posts it. Yeah, Mauro, but what you see is not always what you get filled at (laughs) on the NDX, as you know. See, why is it saying that? Trying to create a duplicate order to see what it's trading at right now, but not sure what's going on. Anyway, I got filled at 453. No, I always go uh, 25 Delta. And SPX, little bounce, little pullback. So I got filled on my Rick at 12.80. So that 17.30 would be my exit. Uh, it's just something Dark Vendor I've been experimenting with. I may start increasing my size. I just want to let it play out for a while. No need to jump in with big size right away. Unless you're a baller like yourself, Dark Avenger. Especially on a day like today when we got a bunch of fed heads popping off at the mouth. <laughs> I was actually thinking about that today. I, I, I'll, I'll probably go bigger on it on Monday. Monday, there's no news. I like those. We might have a normal Monday. I'd like a normal Monday. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Uh, next week. Yeah, so nothing on Monday. Tuesday, 30 minutes after the market opens, ISM services PMI. Wednesday, we've got pre-market ADP non-farm employment change. 30 minutes after the market opens, we got Fed Chair Powell testifies and jolts. Due to testify about the semi-annual monetary policy report, before the House Financial Services Committee in Washington, D.C. So Wednesday could be a little little sloppy. And beige book that afternoon at 1 p.m. 
Thursday, unemployment claims pre-market. Uh, 30 minutes after the market opens, Powell's still testifying. Got Mester later that morning. And Friday, pre-market, employment data. SPX coming down below the first five minute bar low. Yeah, you can do the you can do the same thing, Morrow and SPX. I just, you know, my SPX gets a little crowded, so that's the only reason I really moved to NDX. And the fact that I was like, well, I'm not using a stop, so it's actually a decent decent trade to use on NDX because I I wouldn't want to use stops as wide as it can get. El Piero, only Rick today in the morning. Why? Yeah, as I put on my trade plan, my Rick is discretionary because VIX is below 14. So it technically is not. That's why I put discretionary. If I put discretionary, that means it's something doesn't qualify, but I'm going to do it anyway. And the reason I did it today is just because we got all these Fed speakers. So I'm hoping... Or I'm thinking, not necessarily hoping, but I'm thinking that uh, we get some decent price swings. Yeah, and all the all the details of the strategies are in the trade plan, El Piero, so you can see, you know, the different filters. With the VIX contraction, my uh, my premium selling. Doesn't qualify my NDX here that I'm trading it. It doesn't have any filters, so I'll just do that every day. I'm gonna go ahead and let my VXX vertical still see if there's any more contraction in that before I take any more off. Corn premium, pretty well centered. Natty gas, pretty well centered. MESs. One of them is a uh, breach to the upper side. That one's got 49 days left. So I'll probably take that one off by next week. So the first Fed guy today starts at oh well we've got we've got ISM manufacturing and consumer sentiment yeah. here in about 15 minutes. So we'll stay on here till after that. And then we'll the Chicago Fed speakers at 9 a.m. Central. I'm assuming these are Eastern times. Uh if, are you looking at Forex Factory? I'm looking at Market Watch. Okay, I don't know. On Forex Factory, you can set your time zone. Gotcha, gotcha. So I got all mine at Central. Oh, yeah, night. times are in Eastern. Yeah, I just saw so it on 15 there. minutes.
<clears throat> uh, has anybody, has everybody, I should say, uh, gone onto the new membership portal to see where the courses are and all that stuff? If you haven't, make sure you do that. In each of the, uh, they used to be the course channels. We just changed them to be called resource channels. So like the zero DTE resources, just go to that link that navigation trading.com slash, uh, slash dashboard that will redirect you to the backend platform. It's called WAP. So don't be surprised if you see WAP and trying to kind of confused about what that, what that is. That's just the name of the platform. And then it'll ask you to put your email in. So as long as you put your email in and it matches, you know, your navigation trading membership email, uh, you'll get an email, uh, you'll get a code emailed to you. So there's no passwords. You'll get a, a code emailed to you and then just put that code in and then you'll be in and you'll see the, uh, see all the courses and all that stuff, all the, everything that you have access to. And then, um, and then once you do that with the code one time, as long as you don't log out, you're always you're always logged in so there's so all you got to do is click on that link and it'll take you directly there so instead of having all the videos you know in discord which was kind of clunky to begin with hopefully this is a lot better user experience for that for that piece and then you've also got uh, a, on that pl on the dashboard you can manage your membership so if you need to update your card or change memberships or whatever you can do that all right there No, I'm not sure what you mean, Chris. It's not the same as Discord. Nothing changes for Discord. We'll still continue to keep Discord, but we're just not going to have the all those course videos in there, in the channels. That's not really what Discord was designed to do, so this is a better way to manage that. S&P dipping into red territory. I mean, we're just a skosh away from all-time highs. 51.11. Expected move to the upside today is 51.21. I mean, it seems pretty likely. Yeah, thanks, Dark Avenger. And by the way, there's a uh, there's a section in there, too, that where you can leave a review. Would love for everyone to leave a review that just kind of helps with our people finding us and stuff too. So if you get a chance, much appreciated. I haven't actually looked through the futures to see any potential futures trades today. Russell looks kind of interesting to the downside. That big pop up above those recent highs kind of flush back down a little bit weaker this morning. Could see some continuation lower. I'll give it a little bit. The Dow, Elliot, the Dow today is the weakest of the bunch, in case you were wondering. I'm not sure if Elliot's on here. <clears throat> also, if you leave a review and you're someone that I did a Zoom call with, don't hesitate to mention as other people read that, that, hey, if you have questions, book a Zoom call with Chad. Appreciate that as well. 10 year yield up about 1%. 
The Euro looks like it might be interesting to the downside. So the Euro and the Russell short might be potentials. Uh, yes, yeah, Suresh, I posted it in this channel, but it is also in the courses when you go to that new dashboard in the zero DTE courses. Oh, yeah, the Zero DTE channel. Thanks, White Tiger. Well, SPX is trying to stay green here. Keeps bouncing off of uh, yesterday's close. The uh, little data release here in about seven minutes, seven and a half minutes. Yeah, I'm about 80% uh, done with that one, Dale. So what did you guys think of the uh, Magic Mahomes strategy? Like it? Don't like it? For you, not for you? What do you guys think? So yesterday was... Interesting because, well, first of all, because of the decent range leading up to it, I, I never did get filled at two bucks uh, by the time I wanted to. But if you look at um, if you look at the price action, so I mean, this is. Really good price action for it because if if I would have gotten in and gotten filled at say ninety five, uh, or actually I'm sorry, so if somebody uh, a couple of people got filled at the fifty one hundred strike, but it was too late in the day at that point, so I just <clears throat> I didn't I just canceled my orders. I didn't I didn't get in, and then price moved up almost to fifty one oh five. And had the the vertical spread gotten filled there and then come back down, that took like it did. That is actually the most ideal price action. Now, I know like Madam Butterfly, she got in the 100s and she did not get filled because it didn't quite get there. So it wasn't, you know, it didn't quite, quite happen. But uh, you probably would have gotten filled at like 105, 110 on that vertical. And then it comes pushing back down like it did that that's the kind of price action that uh can actually be create some massive winners for that one so it didn't i'm 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 just looking at it from the price action standpoint it did not set up well i didn't even get in for those of you that were on the on the stream but um just kind of reflecting back on what happened here
Uh, opt for dollar. What do you mean templates? I, you really don't need any templates. In fact, I, I mean, I prefer no templates for this particular scenario. All comes down to position size, Suresh. <laughs> hey, quick question for you, Steve. Yep. Uh, trying to trying to find the, my TLC. Is it in the zero DTE with the new platform? It's in the trade plans. All the trade plans uh -oh. stuff are, those aren't really courses. I mean, yours is, but we just right, kept right, all the right. trade okay. plans in Discord. Okay, so I'm trying to find that. Dark Avenger, is there a question about two-factor authentication? Or are you just making an observation? It's optional. If you want to have to enter your phone number or use an authenticator app every time you log in. Huh, I can't find the trade plans on my dashboard. In Discord? Oh, no, you, okay, you kept it in Discord. I was on that looking at the new WAP. Yeah, no, all the trade plans are still in Discord. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. I figured, because there's, I just figured yeah, that was a little right. bit that's, more that's of right. an efficient way to keep those here. Just thinking, I know people are going to ask me where that course is at, and so I thought it might be in the new net dashboard, so, okay. Yep. So first speaker t starting in two minutes, is that right? No, not the first speaker. It's the uh, oh, ISM PM, Manufacturing uh, PMI yeah. and Revised University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment. Real brain busters. Magic Mahomes, Chris, get it right. Oh, it's the Chicago Fed President Austin... Goolsby TV appearance. Oh, I don't have that one on my calendar. Yeah, I, I have that on market watch. 9 a.m. SPX bouncing back up into green territory. Chris, you probably still have a little jet lag. How was uh how is India? And we got a little pop coming out with the news. Little poppy pop. SPX, I'll send that. S&P, I'll send up 11. Popped through yesterday's high, came back down, now back in the five minute, first five minute bar range. So, let's see if we got a little. That was a little fake out. 
little head fake to the upside. Well, glad to see you're okay, Krish. That's not, no, that's no fun. Check out the uh, individual stocks here. Plug power. Looks like it's down after earnings about 10 and a half percent. Tesla down one. AVGO up four. Looks like semiconductors, AMD's up three and a half, Meta's up two, Baidu up two, NVIDIA up one and a half. Roblox. So yeah, J -Trade. It yeah, it didn't have a big volume bar, so I'm not sure what, what you saw there, J Trade, but yeah. The uh the Baba one, I saw that and didn't I didn't I wouldn't have traded that. Here's why. It's just something to look at. Baba's range on that was like Let's see about a fifty cents. Not even that. I mean, the pullback was, yeah, maybe I guess like fifty cents. It's a really tight range, so it's hard for those to pay out. It's one time, one thing we, one thing some people forget to look at is what's the range look like on the movement. Vic's trying to come up. My toss is fine. Yeah, I'm not having any toss issues. All right, my friends, I'm going to jump off here. We will be back for Power Hour Live at the end of the day. I've got to uh, record my monthly performance stuff, get all that done, and then um, put together the uh, live stream schedule for March and a bunch of other stuff. So, all right, all, take care. Have a good day. See you in Power Hour. Cheers. <laughs>